The fun began at number three, where speculation had the Giants either trading their pick or helping their offense. The New York Giants, first round selection. You're close. Linebacker Carl Banks of Michigan State. I, I had no, no clue the Giants were going to take me. Not one. That could be a situation where, where George Young is saying, well, we'll take Banks to maybe get, a, get some more interest going in a trade because Kansas City wants Banks very badly in the fifth position. So I guess we still could see a trade. There was a lot of speculation about the Giants pick, whether they would trade. You went for a linebacker, and yet you seem to be a team filled with linebackers. Sam, it was simply a case of taking the best player available at this time. I thought the linebacking core was still pretty good. It was myself, Lawrence Taylor, Brad Van Pelt and Brian Kelly. You know, I was not the coach, but the coach felt that he needed some youth. There are a lot of hoots from upstairs that weren't too thrilled with the pick. Does that concern you at all? I've heard them a lot more disappointed. And then people start, started to say, dude, I don't know how you're going to get on the field. Why did they draft you? Phil, what's your opinion so far about the Giants' first pick? You know, basically, it's the same position we were in the year we drafted Lawrence Taylor, and I, I don't think we did too bad that year. Uh, a lot of people, we wanted to run him back that year. And a lot of people wanted us to pick Freeman McNeil. Instead, we picked uh, Lawrence Taylor, so I think we did the right thing then, and I believe we did the right thing for the team now by picking, you know, Carl Banks, the linebacker. Draft Knicks in the 70s were rarely seen. By the 80s, they were being put on TV. In 1984, Mel Kuyper Jr. made his television debut. When ESPN rolled Kuiper out for the first time in 1984, a lot of the football people said, you know, who is he? What's he done? He's out of Michigan. Kuiper earned the on-air gig after producing his own draft guide since 1981. When that draft took place, I was 23. So you're talking about an outside linebacker who still has a major need for Kansas City with absolutely no experience at all on camera, none. He's a bargain for the Packers in the fourth round, no question about it, one of the steals of this draft. People used to call them draft Nixon with um, some derision in their voice, but in this case, it was a draft Nick with um, blow-dried hair dressed like Gordon Gecko. Still some quality offensive goals. I never paid any attention to his evaluations. I did read them. I don't think he's a talent evaluator. I think he's an information gatherer. He has taken this draft and created this cottage industry for himself. Mel has developed through the years, but he still has never made a team's pick. Young's winding NFL road started in the supplemental draft. He was not the only one. After Heisman Trophy winner Mike Rozier went second to Houston, the Giants had a decision to make, similar to when they opted for defense over offense in the NFL draft. Two future Hall of Famers, one on each side of the ball, were available. Gary Zimmerman was there. I know I w had a particular interest in Reggie White, too. I tried to put my two cents in, but we wound up taking Zimmerman. The rest of the NFL should be thankful the Giants whiffed and missed teaming Reggie White with Lawrence Taylor. Imagine if the Giants they play what if. Imagine if they had taken Reggie White instead of Zimmerman. Holy cow, that had been illegal. Would have been something special. It would be incredible. It would absolutely be incredible. Belichick probably would have had a ball with that. I mean, it's just mind-boggling to think what would have happened if they'd taken Reggie instead of Zimmerman, who didn't want to play in New York and force him to trade him to the Vikings. The guy they picked never played for the Giants, while White went on to torment the team that passed on him for the rest of the decade. Both White and Young eventually won Super Bowls to top off their Hall of Fame careers. Someone take the monkey off my back, please! Not part of the 1984 NFL Draft, they still stand at the head of the class of 84.